All right, let's get rolling on the cleanup. Okay, so since we did some grinding, we're going to take a paintbrush, and we are going to brush off all of the fine stuff we ground off. Okay, that's all it takes right there. It's good to have a little paintbrush like this on your workbench. And, you know, I, I used it earlier to sweep the workbench. All right. I have some acetone on this cloth. I've already done this once, and you yourself may need to do this a couple of times. You just wipe down the line. Remember, this is friction fit, too. It's not glued in place. So, just wipe. You're going to get a lot of it because acetone evaporates right away. You can already see the end of my cloth here. That's what I got. Now, let's go back. I have acetone in a tiny beaker. Do I need to remind you? Do not put acetone in a plastic cup. You put it in a small beaker like this, which cost me like 25 cents on eBay. For, you know, I, I got a set of them for a couple bucks. Okay? Put it in this, it won't evaporate so fast. Otherwise... This cloth that I have it on, it's going to be dry in a minute. So now I'm going to take a Q-tip. And one of these things about the DD40 is they love to come out of their sockets. They just do. And I'm going to have to put them back in. It's out right now. I'll get them back in. So I'm going to take this. When you're cleaning, too, you may notice stanchions that need more shaping. So you can go ahead, take your motor tool, and shape some more. Use your paintbrush, wipe off the dust. Now, we got a little bit of acetone. Okay. So let's go ahead and look carefully. And we can get rid of the acid. What you're going to notice where it is, you're going to see some what look like... Uh, leftovers from burning, which is what they are. Let's go through and clean it. Mm -hmm. You can see I'm getting some stuff. Let's get underneath them. Get the stuff on the back side. All the way down the line. If you get to corners, just give her a spin. Watch your stanchions. See, here's one that's got. When I tend them, the acid runs down the stanchion and sometimes it leaves behind some stuff. Don't touch your paint that you've already done. Mm -hmm. You see big globs in here, go ahead and take your soldering pencil and burn them off. Then come back and clean. Alright. There it is. Clean. We can get them back on his. There we go. Now, we are clean. Now, do you remember when I told you what the deal is with the acid? You can clean it with baking soda, with acetone, and paint. We're going to take a small brush, go ahead and paint this with something. Um, craft paint is not that bad. You know, that paint that's less than a buck per tube. You can use it to act like a primer. That's what we want to do. So we want to get this thing now painted. And then, once we've done that, and that craft paint, being acrylic, dries really fast. And once we got that, then we can go ahead and take our fine brush and paint these. Now, I'm not going to make a video about painting these. You guys can, you can figure out how to paint them and how to, how to do that. 
And but I am going to take it over to the test bench and give her a workout that you can see. I've already done that a couple of times and it runs awesome. And I'll go over the running of this DD35B and I'll put that into the DD40 playlist later. But otherwise, we now have our handrail piano wire, steel wire, music wire, whatever you call it. We did it. There it is. And once we get it painted up, it's going to be great. And it is friction fit. These handrails can be removed. Carefully, they can be removed and put back on. So, if, let's say you were going to do a contest piece. If you had all the bends the way you like them, you could take this off and you could go to work on it with other tools. And then you could actually paint it. And put it back on and then you can go ahead with your flat flat pliers and you could make sure that all the stances were straight again that's how you could do that i know this because i did win a contest in 2019 with a locomotive that i had done this on and i won the contest by accident that was my test locomotive for the good ones but because it scratch built the handrails it uh, scored a couple of extra points that I didn't get from the others. Yeah, that was pretty great. I did. I thought that would not. I didn't think it would even be a factor in the contest at all. But scratch building handrails is worth some points in contests, and you can definitely refine what I've showed you how to do. You can take it to much higher level than what we have done here. What we have done here is prepare a locomotive for operation on an operating layout. And it's going to look decent. It's not a display piece. This thing was meant to operate. And that's why we've done what we have done. And I hope that helps. And yes, for those of you who've asked, I'm going to attempt to do this on an end scale locomotive. I am not an end scaler, but I do have a section of T-Track and I do have a couple locomotives. And I picked up for five bucks a train show with no handrails. So I'm going to do this on an end scale. And we'll see how that goes. When I do that, I will make a video of it. We'll make some end scale handrails. Otherwise, I'd say we are complete. We can go on to detailing and painting. I hope you like this one. And there are more to come since you know that I've got a couple more DD40s that are going to need a different kind of set. We'll get to that later.